A tubby, also known as gray tiger, is any domestic cat that has a coat featuring distinctive stripes, dots, lines or swirling patterns, usually together with a mark resembling an M on its forehead. Tubbies are sometimes erroneously assumed to be a cat breed. In fact, the tubby pattern is found in many breeds, as well as among the general mixed breed population. The tubby pattern is a naturally occurring feature that may be related to the coloration of the domestic cat's direct ancestor, the African wildcat, which has a similar coloration. Etymology The English term tubby comes from a translation of the French for striped silk taffeta, which derives from the French tabis, meaning a rich, watered silk, in turn from Middle French atabis, from the Arabic term atabir, from atabye, a neighborhood of Baghdad where such cloth was first made named for Prince Atab of the Umayyad Caliphate, as compared to the Spanish term Otaviar, meaning to decorate or to dress or wear. The term tubby cat, one with a striped coat, is attested from the 1690s. The shortened form tubby was first attested in 1774. The idea of female cat may be influenced by the feminine proper name tubby, a pet form of Tabitha, which was used in the late 18th century as slang for a difficult old woman. Tubby patterns. There are four tubby patterns that have been shown to be genetically distinct mackerel, classic, spotted, and ticked. A fifth includes tubby as part of another basic color pattern. The patch tubby is a calico or tortoise shell cat with tubby patches. All those patterns have been observed in random bred populations. Several additional patterns are found in specific breeds. A modified classic tubby is found in the Sukkot breed. Some are due to the interaction of wild and domestic genes. Rosetted and marbled patterns are found in the Bengal breed. Mackerel tubby, the mackerel tubby pattern has vertical, gently curving stripes on the side of the body. The stripes are narrow and may be continuous or broken into bars and spots on the flanks and stomach. An M shape appears on the forehead along with dark lines across the cat's cheeks to the corners of its eyes. Mackerels are also called fishbone tubbies probably because they are named after the mackerel fish. Mackerel is the most common tubby pattern. The legs and tail have dark bars as do the cat's cheeks. Classic tubby, the classic tubby tends to have a pattern of dark browns, ochres and black but also occurs in grey. Classic tabbies have the M pattern on their foreheads but the body markings have a whirled or swirled pattern on the cat's sides. There is also a light-colored butterfly pattern on the shoulders and three thin stripes running along its spine. Like the mackerel tubby, classic tabbies have dark bars on the legs, tail, and cheeks. Tick tubby, the tick tubby pattern produces agouti hairs, hairs with distinct bands of color on them breaking up the tubby patterning into a salt and pepper appearance. Residual ghost striping or barring can often be seen on the lower legs, face and belly and sometimes at the tail tip. Spotted tubby, the spotted tubby is a modifier that breaks up the mackerel tubby pattern so that the stripes appear as spots. Similarly, the stripes of the classic tubby pattern may be broken into larger spots. Both large spot and small spot patterns can be seen in the Australian mist, Bengal, Egyptian Mao, Maine Coon, and Ossicat breeds. Genetic explanations for tubby patterns. The tubby patterns are due to three distinct gene loci and one modifier, the agouti gene, AA, controls whether or not the tubby pattern is expressed. The dominant A expresses the underlying tubby pattern, while the recessive non-agouti or hypermelanistic allele, A, does not. Solid color cats have the or combination hiding the tubby pattern, although sometimes a suggestion of the underlying pattern can be seen this is mostly seen in young cats that still have the baby coat. The right pattern will reveal itself then, because that is independent of the fact that it is tubby or solid. However, the O gene for orange color suppresses the or genotype, so an orange cat will always show the tubby pattern, if it's solid or tubby. There are certain traits in a red cat that will reveal if it's solid or tubby. A solid will have no white lining on the edge of the ears, no little stripe right above the nose and around the eyes. The primary tubby pattern gene, MCMC or MCMC, sets the basic pattern of stripes that underlies the coat. MC is the wild type tubby gene and produces what is called a mackerel striped tubby. Classic tubbies are cats who also possess MCMC, 
a recessive mutant gene that produces the blotched pattern. The spotter gene is directly connected to the MC gene, it breaks the lines of a mackerel tubby, turning it into spots. Spotter gene is dominant as well, which means a spotted will be SPSP or SPSP together with MCMC and MCMC and of course AA and AA. The tick tabby pattern is on a different gene locus than the mackerel and classic tabby patterns and is epistatic to the other patterns. A dominant mutation, tar slash tar, masks any other tabby pattern, producing a non-patterned, or a gooty tabby, with virtually no stripes or bars. If the tick tabby pattern gene is present, any other tabby pattern is masked. Cats homozygous for the tick allele have less barring than cats heterozygous for the tick allele. When a cat of this genetic makeup is selectively bred for lack of barring and wide banding on the hair shaft the resulting pattern is referred to as shaded. History, since the tubby pattern is a common wild type, it might be assumed that medieval cats were tubbies. However, one writer believed this to be untrue, at least in England. Sometime after the mid-17th century, the natural philosopher John Aubrey noted that William Lord, the Archbishop of Canterbury was a great lover of cats, sick, and was presented with some Cyprus cats, that is our tubby cats. He then claimed that I do well remember that the common English cat, was white with some bluish pedna csc, a galley pot blue. The race or breed of them are now almost lost. See also, Brindle, references. External links.